Noah is not here today, but that's not gonna stop us from bringing you guys super important breaking news about McNuggets. Hey there, feeders. Now, let's just address the obvious right off the bat. I am not Noah Gluten. Noah is in Australia yet again. Yes, yet again, he has shirked his responsibilities hosting this show so that he could wrap his lips around a didgeridoo or whatever the hell it is that he's doing down under. So let's just take it easy in the comments and let's just try to get through these next couple of weeks, okay? We've kept you guys abreast of all of McDonald's feeble attempts to gain the trust of millennials in recent years. They've latched onto buzzwords like, like kale and created all sorts of menu items to try to trick people into thinking their food is potentially helpful. Well, the latest move is a complete McRevamp of the McNugget. Several years ago, they made a big hullabaloo about switching to all white meat for the McNuggets. And I only remember that happening because that was when I learned that chicken grundle is technically white meat. Clever play, Ronald. This time they're trying to simplify the McNuggets recipes since the current one has a whopping 32 ingredients. I feel a little weird calling it a recipe because that kind of implies there's food in it. So let's just go with formula. While McDonald's is remaining tight-lipped about the contents of their new simpler formula, they're already testing it out at 140 locations in the Pacific Northwest. So if you're in the Oregon and Washington region, Continue staying away from McDonald's like we always recommend you do. Nothing's actually changed here. I suppose this new formula might bust down those 32 ingredients to a lean 31. And it's also said to contain no artificial preservatives, which is considered an upgrade from the OG McNugs. But since this is McDonald's we're talking about, that probably just means they figured out that monkeypox is a natural preservative. Well played yet again, Ronald. Thanks for watching and don't worry, Noah will be back soon enough to complain about things or to eat things on camera and then complain about them right here on the Food Feeder.